Hey guys, this is Simon to Geek. This is a Linux, GOS Linux review. Now, to everyone who's an experienced Linux user, shut off this video right now. This video is for the switcher. Switcher and new, I mean, new people of Linux and older Linux users, advanced user, Linux users, this, this will be completely different. If the advanced Linux users would like me to do a review on GOS, I need at least 10 to do it. Like, post a comment saying, do an advanced review on it, then I'll do it. But this is for the people who are using Windows and might want to switch to Linux, and really not for advanced people. So, this is just a beginner review, because the opinion between GOS for beginners and advanced people is very, 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 very different. Hello guys, this is Sam with Geek. Today we have here GOS. That's right, a Linux. This Linux is heavily based off Ubuntu Gutsy Gib Gibbon. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's Gutsy Gibbon. As you can see, it has a very OS 10 looking desktop here. And it has similar things to Ubuntu. First thing is, let's check out the Office software. Let's open Word Processor from OpenOffice. Ah, that's annoying. Why is it on the left? Ah, well that's gnome for you, but you know, I, I don't I don't mind it too much. As you see, full functioning word processor from OpenOffice. OpenOffice is really made for Linux. I just love the OS X feel here. You have your dock. The only thing I hate about GOS is they advertise websites. What happens when I click on a website? Let's see. Here's YouTube, as everyone knows. It'll bring up Firefox YouTube style. That's right. It's not an application. It's just a link. And as you can see, all these are from Google. Gtalk, Google Calendar, Google Docs, Google Reader, Google Maps, Google News, Google Finance, Gbooth, YouTube, Blogger, Facebook, Wikipedia, Mebo, and so on and so forth. They also have Skype, which works extremely well. Everything you see on my OS right now can run off the live CD perfectly. This is one of the best live CDs if you don't, say, say you're at work and you don't want to use Windows. Just bring this live CD. Perfect. Let me just enter my password here. Okay. And let's bring up some other applications. Like all other... Well, not all other, but like all other GNOME Linuxes, you have all the games. That's right. It's all the default GNOME games. Let's play GNOME Triss. Where's GNOME Triss? Sorry, I'm looking through the camera. There it is. This game, if you haven't guessed it, is Tetris. If Tetris were made by Linus instead of Russians. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, yeah. You also got other applications such as CD, DVD writer, and the music player, the movie player, all the internet stuff as in... You have all the useless links that piss me off. Mozilla Thunderbird, Pigeon, Internet Messenger, Skype, Tech Support, and two other useless links. Let's see, other than that, you have your graphics, you have GIMP, and OpenOffice Drawing. And for Office, you have OpenOffice Suite. And it's just an amazing OS to start off with Linux. Very, very good. Let's message Teen Victor here. 
Now I want to call him. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Skype works just as fine as it ever does. Pigeon works great. Overall, a great starting OS for any Linux bound person. So, if you really wanting to make the jump to Linux, try out this. All, if you, all the web applications can be accessed by right clicking on the desktop and all your other applications plus the start menu. If you don't want to go all the way up here, just click anywhere on the desktop and you get the start menu. Very easy, very functional. And um, if you really want to try out Linux for the first time, it's free and it's it's. It's not like OS 10, but it has a really OS 10 feel to it. I, I found it very enjoyable. Check it out if you're interested in Linux at all. That's all I have to say. So go to the website um, for downloading. It's thinkgos.org. I think .org. .com. Sorry. And you'll be greeted by the standard desktop. The multi desktop feature works very well, I might add. This is just a, overall a pretty Linux. Very pretty. I mean, a lot of Linuxes are just like in Windows 95. Well, some of them. Not all of them, but a lot of them. So if you want to try out a nice L Linux, just to see how a Linux is, this is the perfect one for you. Just to start off, Samuel Tegeek signing out.